Hello, welcome back to another wash day with me. Another wash, blow dry, and straighten. My hair has been like this for the past week. I'm getting back on the one week routine. I am going to shampoo my hair twice with my Tresme Keratin Smooth Shampoo. This is all the products I'm going to be using today. Yes, that is a total of five conditioners. Now that my hair is clean, I'm going to go in and section and detangle and then apply the first conditioner, which is the Marc Anthony Strictly Curls Curl Envy Defrizzing Mask. I've only used this once. I used it for a wash and go and I have been dying to use it in my hair. Again, the consistency is so smooth yet slightly slimy, slippery, kind of like snot, but like in a good way. The smell is great great it absorbs into the hair so well I can rub it in into my hands and apply it and it just glides through like butter if I had to give this a conditioner a rating based off of application and how my hair felt afterwards I would give it a five out of five the jar is officially done and I do plan on repurchasing because I genuinely did enjoy using it Conditioner number two is the L'Oreal Extraordinary 1001 Uses Hair Mask. I'm not gonna lie, it really does smell a lot like coconut oil and I do not enjoy the smell, but the consistency is nice, not as luxurious in my opinion in feeling compared to the Marc Anthony, but it absorbs well, it holds up well in the jar. I can spread it in and my hair seems to be absorbing. I'm almost done this jar, so I'm gonna scoop out whatever's left and then toss it because of the smell. If I was to give it a rating, I would give it maybe a 3.5 or 4 out of 5. I don't plan on repurchasing just because of the smell, but it genuinely was a nice product. Conditioner number 3 is the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. This is the Manuka Honey and Mephira Oil one. I have only ever tried a few hair masks from Shea Moisture and this is the one that I stuck with. I thought I loved the smell, the consistency, everything, but using it this time for the first time in almost a year, I did not enjoy it at all. It felt really thick and clumpy and lumpy kind of the way coconut oil solidifies in the jar when it turns to a solid it's almost as if it needs to be a put in a blender or something to be softened and smoothed back out almost as if you can tell it has some really good natural ingredients in but I just didn't like having to struggle with applying to it I like to feel it glide into my hair and absorb it does make my hair still feel really soft and smooth afterwards and the smell is great but I'm giving it a four out of five I may repurchase maybe not we'll see conditioner number four is the matrix mega sleek conditioner I hate the packaging because the bottle is so thick the conditioner is super thick I like the fact that the conditioner is super thick but it's so hard to squeeze the conditioner out of the bottle it just needs a pump and this conditioner would be perfect and maybe add a little bit of floral scent it reminds me of an old school classic smell kind of like baby powder just add a little bit of floral maybe fruit and it would be a five out of five conditioner number five the final conditioner is the head and shoulder smooth and silky conditioner i'm only applying this down my middle part and then rubbing it into the roots i'm gonna let this sit in my hair for about 90 minutes and rinse my hair feels super awesome after that long deep conditioning session i'm going to section off my hair and then begin blow drying I'll be using the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant Spray. I'm just spraying this super liberally to every single section. I'm blow drying my hair in four sections in total. So each section is getting anywhere from 30 to 40 pumps of heat protectant spray. And then after I apply the spray, I'm going to go in with the Cantu Daily Oil Moisturizer as my leave-in. Now I normally do half the amount of Cantu Daily Oil Moisturizer in my hair when I plan on straightening. When I do less oil moisturizer, I notice my hair is a lot lighter, a lot more flowing, voluminous, 
borderline fluffy still very straight soft and smooth but not as silky so today I want to add a little bit more moisturizer in it just to help weigh down the strands and add in a little bit of extra shine moisturizer and weight I am using the Red Pro Kiss 3000 Titanium Hair Dryer. Mine is from the Beauty Supply Store. I've had it for over five years. It's 100% perfection. I love this hair dryer. I wish I could find the exact same one online, but Amazon does carry something very, very similar. It's strong, it's durable, it's sturdy, comes with lots of strong hair attachments that do not bend, do not break. I blow dry my hair on the highest heat setting and the highest speed setting, and then I finish off with the cool shot. This is what my hair looks like when it's done being blow dried, very soft. It's about 95% dry. I let the hair finish off drying throughout the night and I like to straighten my hair the following day giving my hair some time to further absorb the leave-in moisturizer before going in with straightening. So I straighten 75% of my hair off camera. I'm on the final section. I'm using my carbon fiber comb for the chase method. I section my hair off in lengths that are about an inch or so. And then when I go in with the straightener, I like to angle it kind of upwards and then kind of downwards and then straight when I'm doing the roots. So three passes or so at the roots and then two passes down the lengths of the hair just to make sure that the roots are properly straightened and the lengths of the hair are not getting unnecessary heat. I find my roots are a little bit more stubborn, obviously because it's new growth in the lengths of my hair and the hair closer to the face of my head actually straightens very easily. So yesterday was the first day of fall slash autumn, so straight hair season I think has officially started and I'm super excited for it. I am enjoying straightening my hair today knowing that the majority of the humidity in the hair outside has gone down. I can wear my hair out and not have to worry too much about it reverting from sweat or heat. By the way, when I start the straightening step, I do not apply any additional products or heat protectant spray. That's why I make sure to apply a generous amount to ensure my hair is protected. And my hair is looking super shiny and soft and sleeky, and I cannot wait for the final results. When I finish straightening my hair, I put my hair up into these two big buns just to help the hair cool down. This is my version of wrapping the hair just because I simply am not talented at wrapping my hair. Now it's time to unravel. So this is the final result. I am going to use my white tooth comb, kind of comb it out, use my fingers and break up some of the PC-ness. It's giving model off duty. I personally prefer to have a little bit of extra wave and body into the hair. I don't like when it's super pin straight, at least not all the time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you are part of straight hair season or if you're at least looking forward to maybe giving straight hairstyles a try. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.